just went in, I took a little bit of a clip, not a long one at all. Um, I just went in to see if I was a good candidate for LASIK eye surgery. Um, I've been told by my like regular eye doctor that I'm a good candidate, but I just wanted to go in. They have like a free screening um, every Friday just to see if you're a good candidate. So I went in and they put freaking numbing drops in my eyes and then did some some testing. And the numbing is like barely wearing off, but holy crap, that felt so weird. So I had to take my contacts out obviously and then they did the drops and testing and stuff and then she's like you can wait so you don't like poke your eye when you put your contact back in so I waited like two minutes she said to go right away in like 10 but when I went to put my contact back in my eye like I couldn't feel on my eye obviously that's what numbing means but it was so weird I like, couldn't feel when I like put my contact in I just had to like look in the mirror and see but I'm a good candidate um I think we'll probably do it this year. I'm kind of nervous. I've watched some other people's like journey, LASIK eye surgery journey YouTube vlogs. So I'll probably make one. This will be the beginning of it. Oh, but it just kind of scares me. Anyway, I'm location scouting right now. So for some photo shoots later today. So, but yeah. Left to my own devices, right on the big old highway. The sun gets in your bones Everybody driving 90 Love's not a destination I think it's a journey home So what if mine is on the lonely road? What if my companion is the radio Santa? It's surgery day! <laughs> it's LASIK day! This is my OOTD Sorry, I got your messy conversation. This is your mess. <laughs> What's OOTD? Outfit of the day. Oh. It's gonna be 65 degrees in the room, so big sweatshirt, sweatpants. Sorry. It's about an hour drive, a little less than an hour, and then we'll be there for probably two hours. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm a little scared. I can't wear any makeup and my face is probably the worst that it's ever been, so. But also you have to, they asked me to shower or bathe the morning of, and my hair dries really bad, so forget the days. I don't know if they'll let me film in there, but we'll see. Hopefully not. I hope they will. <laughs> My heart's beating fast. <laughs> I can't record this. <laughs> okay, I'll have you sit up straight, both feet on the ground. Go ahead and come forward. I'll have you get your chin up for a little more. Aspect of eliminating your dependence on glasses and contacts, and for good reason. I just got done. Where are we going? Chick-fil-A? We're gonna go get food. Where are we going? I don't care. Chick-fil-A, I guess. I feel like I shouldn't be able to blink. Like it's gonna wreck the flap or something. Pretty painless. The first part, they like put, like it's like pressure on your eye. Like I felt like my eyeball was gonna pop out. Mm -hmm. But, and you can't see anything, like just black. But then you're like, they put numbing drops in, so like, you can't tell what your eye's doing, so you're just like, I hope it's in the right spot. But now I feel like I can see pretty dang good already. They have me taking a leave and an anti-anxiety. Probably just say, keep your eyes thin. And I was like, um, does everyone take the anti-anxiety? <laughs> I was like, alright, I'll just take it. Anyway. Going to Chick-fil-A. What are you getting? Probably gonna get a deluxe sandwich and some nuggets.
it's maybe I'll go grilled. I don't know. It's a stinky up dude. It seems like she's healthier. I'm a little nervous for when the numbing drops are <laughs> I wish they gave me like actual goggles that could like stay on my face without tape. Oh well. Do, do they not give you any goggles? Oh wow, that doesn't even focus. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, have a great day, dude. You too. Okay, y'all. I don't remember what I filmed right after. Um, but I was not allowed to film. Well, Jake wasn't able to come. He wasn't allowed to come back with me into, like, the laser room. Um, and then I couldn't even bring my phone in there, so I couldn't have, like, recorded anyways, which I was going to ask him if I could record somehow, but unfortunately I could not. Um, I don't know, it was an interesting experience. I feel like this is really bad. You know what? They're all bad angles. My eye, this one, if you can tell, it's just, like, burning and dripping. My right eye is honestly fine. Like, it doesn't feel, ouch. I like can't really feel anything with this eye. This eye is like, whew. but it was really quick, pretty painless. Well, really like no pain, just like a little bit of discomfort. Um, they, you lay down and you can see, they ask you to look at the green dot in the middle um, of like the laser machine and just like focus on the green dot. Um, the first part, they put something on your eye and then you they move you over to a different machine and it puts like a lot of pressure on your eye. I'm like, I feel like my eye is going to bulge out. But that was probably the most uncomfortable thing because it, it does that and you can't see anything. So like everything is black, which is kind of scary, but it's, it's like five seconds. Then they bring you back over under the, um, where you were before. They just kind of move your chair back and forth, at least where I got mine done. And then, um, you could see, they just tell you to focus on the green dot of the laser. And then um, they prop your eye open, they tape your lashes up and then put a thingy in. I don't know, I couldn't really feel it because they put numbing drops in your eyes. So like I couldn't tell like a lot of the things that they were doing. Um, but then the laser makes a noise and then it smells kind of like a burning hair. It, w it literally wasn't bad, it was like two seconds of smelling like that and I didn't mind it at all. And then it does something. I could kind of tell when the flap moved, um, but not really. I mean, I numb. And then I could tell when he was like brushing over it to make it smooth again, which was honestly like kind of cooling. Um, and you don't have the urge to blink or anything because your eyes are numb and they have it propped open. Um, so that's fine. I was like, in my mind, I think of like all these scenarios. I'm like, well, what the freak if I have to sneeze? Like... I'm gonna mess up the entire process, but like, I, <laughs> that's probably not common at all, um, but then, yeah, he smooths it over, then he puts, like, a bunch of drops in your eyes, and then he takes the things out, you're gonna go, so it wasn't bad, it's just bad now, Jake's gonna come in, it doesn't feel very good in this eye, it, it's pretty burny. Um, but I need to put my drops in now, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, <laughs> I look scary. I just pulled these down so I could put the drops in and then just put them back on. Um, but if you can tell, here, I'll flip the camera. Um, my eyes are really watery. Like, this one, honestly, like, I cannot feel anything in this eye. Like, nothing wrong with it. I don't know if the numbing just worked better on this eye than this eye, but this eye is like... 
watering and braiding really bad and it's kind of red, which I don't love. It's just not feeling that good. But I need to put these in. I have to put these in today every two hours and then tomorrow four times a day. Um, along with um, sorry, these. So this is like a stair. <laughs> Um, these, this is an antibiotic that I started using yesterday and then I use, so I use this four times a day, just four times a day, except today, the day of surgery, I use every two hours. My eyes are just so watery. So far, like honestly, my vision isn't super hazy. It just seems like it, if I didn't have so much like teariness and water in my eyes I feel like I could see just like really really well like I can see across my whole house my house isn't very big I can see all the way into the laundry room over there I can see the kitchen I can see the shoes and like everything's clear which is crazy oh my gosh I look like I'm crying okay so something really important about the drops is to not touch your cornea or your eye or else that's really not good <laughs> so let's see okay and my no like my allergies are so bad too it just like does not help this situation at all oh that kind of hurts y'all oh, those are like milky to be honest, I don't know why I'm saying y'all because I am not from the South and I don't usually say stuff like that. Okay, I have to wait a couple minutes so these can kind of do their thing and then actually wait, no, I don't need to put these in yet. So many things, can I? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put these back on now so I don't look except i like having them off because i can see a lot better um but this will just protect it so i don't freaking touch my eyes um i also have these refresh um they're just like little individual vials uh they say you can put them in every half hour or kind of as needed they recommend to do them fairly frequently just keep your eyes hydrated and not dry um yeah, that's how it's going. Left eye burning, right eye seems good for now. We'll see if it gets more uncomfortable as the day goes on or not, so. Okay, y'all, we're about, actually, what time is it? I think it's like seven thirty, maybe-ish. It's around 7. 30 and I got my eyes done at like 11 30 is that wrong maybe like 11 more like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. anyways so 11 12 10, 11. so we're about eight hours post-op I'm feeling really good. My right eye feels like nothing happened to it. It feels good. <laughs> um, my left eye feels um, pretty, a little burny. And so that makes it water a lot. Like I just kind of have a lot of tears. And then it also feels gritty, which I don't know if that's normal. I feel like she said that that was normal. Anyway, I'm doing good. Everything's going well, I think. I hope. Um, not in a ton of pain. I thought it was going to be like a lot more burny sensations and stinging. Um, this one definitely has a little bit of that, um, but I thought it was going to be worse. So, we're good. Uh, my sister-in-law dropped off Costa Vida, which was so nice. Um, that's like my favorite. So, I'm eating that right now. And earlier, my other sister-in-law brought me some huckleberry custard, which was really good. So, 
yeah not that I'm like recovering from like hip surgery or heart surgery or <laughs> anything crazy but it was really nice of them so that's what I'm doing whoa um Jake left with a couple of his friends to do I don't know what but this is what I'm doing right here I'll update you after um, I sleep tonight, <laughs> so in the morning, and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's not too bad. Good morning. This is day two. Well, what would you call it? Post-op day one? Day two. It's almost been- Day after my <laughs> surgery. <laughs> it's been almost 24 hours. I actually slept really good with the shields on my eyes. Um, left one's still bugging me a little bit, but other than that, they're good. So on my way to my postal appointment. These are the only sunglasses I have. Hello, it's me again in the bathroom, getting ready to put in more eye drops. Shocker. Um, that's pretty much my life right now. Just kidding. Um, every, no, four times a day, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then when I go to bed is when I put the drops in, so, yeah. Um, I just went to the thrift store, because why not? I also been wearing the same sweatshirt that I wore yesterday, so, sorry if that grosses you out. Um, but I might show you what I got at the thrift store <laughs> because I know this isn't that type of video. This is a video about like oops, steroid drops. These ones are kind of milky, if you can tell. Hello. Let's redo that. Hello. Today is Labor Day, which is September 6th. Um, so I haven't updated you since the day after surgery, which was Friday, and today is Monday. Um, it's going really, really well. Honestly, I watched a lot of, um, my LASIK experience videos on YouTube, like, prior to going, kind of to get an idea of what people's post-op was like. <clears throat> um... Sorry, my nose is so stuffy. I have the worst allergies and like it won't come unstuffed and I don't understand. Anyways, um, a lot of people's experience, I feel like post-op, their eyes bug them a lot more than mine do. Um, like a lot more dryness, a lot more maybe a little like irritation. Um, mine, honestly, like I said before, my left eye feels like a little um, gritty and irritated, but, like, today it feels pretty dang good, um, I think what it is is just dryness, um, my right eye, I don't know, it's just felt perfect, and I, when I went to my post-op appointment, my one day, um, but the doctor said that it can kind of, uh, fluctuate for the next, like, four to five weeks after surgery, so, like, my right eye might end up kind of flop flip-flopping with my left eye and becoming more irritated but honestly they don't feel irritated like at all um I can see um went to church yesterday we sat kind of farther in the back and they put like the music um numbers to the songs at the very front of the chapel and I was like I can see those perfectly so this is awesome and yeah just to wake up like we woke up and worked out today I didn't have to freaking put my contacts in I didn't have to not put them in and just work out blurry you know so it's been really nice and I think recovery is not bad at all um and I'm loving it so that's my update for you Good morning. Today is almost a week since my surgery. Uh, it is Wednesday and I got my surgery done last Thursday, but today is my one week follow-up or post-op appointment with my eye doctor. So I'm gonna try to bring you along with me. It probably won't work because 
it's kind of awkward to film um so yeah but hopefully everything's good my eyes feel really good i just got done with the workout well a little bit ago i just need to get ready a little bit um Still can't really put makeup on, but I just put like a little bit on, so I feel like a little bit put together. But I'm gonna wash off, shower off a little bit. I probably won't wash my hair because honestly, okay, it needs a washing, well, let's be real. But I washed it on, now I can't remember what day I washed it. Um, I washed it a couple days ago. And it was kind of hard because it was the first time I washed it since after the surgery and like, it's really easy to get, you know, water and soap in your eyes when you're showering. So I was like leaning back. I did this when I was a kid and I wanted to start taking showers. I would like put a cup, up, like cut my hand right here so I'd get no water in my eyes. And then I'd like, you know, but uh, I was just trying to be super careful because I really didn't want to get any soap or anything in my eyes. So like, I don't want to wash my hands. <laughs> Um, so I'm not going to, but I need to, so. All right, we're on our way. My phone might fall, so if you fall, sorry. That means I'm done filming. So anybody else? All right, raise your hands if you are always late to appointments. Oh, shoot. I... I don't think I'll be late. I'm like a right on time person. And I feel like that needs to change. I need to be more of five minutes early. But like, no, when I get to work, I'm there at eight o'clock. No earlier, most time. 7.59, oh! It feels like fall in the mornings. Like it's like got like a nice little crisp it, crispness crispness spit in the air but then like the day goes by and it's like 90 degrees later in the day so it's like what is happening I mean I'm not complaining I'm like not ready for cold weather because here in Idaho it gets really freaking cold and I'm not ready I don't like the cold I don't ski I don't snowboard I don't do anything that is joyful in the snow so yeah, I'm not ready for it, but yeah. Michaela Andrus. Okay, yeah, I just got done. I, why, why, why did I talk like that? I don't know. Um, just got done with my eye appointment. Things are looking good. The flap is still in place, which I was just really nervous about. And he says I'm about, the eyes are about 85% healed right now. So, cool. Hello. I just wanted to make a quick outro to this LASIK video if you've made it through. <laughs> it was way longer than I anticipated. Um, but... I like watching long vlogs and hopefully if you're interested in getting LASIK you learned something or got something out of this video. Um, I hope you liked the video. It's been about a month now. I just barely got back from my one month um, post-op appointment. Things are looking good. Things are healing up. There's like, he says there's scars. Like you can see the scars where they like lasered this flap. Um, and then he told me I need to keep putting just like the refresh uh, artificial tears in my eyes because they look a little, a little dry and they feel a little dry. I know. I stare at a computer all day for hours on end and I just forget to put them in. So that's like the biggest thing is that they're dry. Not even the biggest thing. The main thing right now is that they're dry and I dealt with my eyes being dry before so it's really nothing crazy or uncomfortable. I personally will recommend LASIK to everybody that wants it. Um, it was a really good experience uh, as you saw from when I got the surgery till now. Um, kind of how I felt throughout the process and honestly I would do it again if I had to. I don't, I don't want to. Um, but it's nothing too crazy, nothing too painful. 
Um, the recovery was pretty easy. The hardest part, I think, was um, sleeping with the eye shields and not being able to touch my eyes or get anything in my eyes. So, like, especially when I showered and washed my hair for the first time, washing my hair was a little bit scary because you don't want to get soap or anything in your eyes. But, um, yeah, you just have to be cautious and careful with them. But other than that, they have been great. I see great. I can see across the street, throughout my window, through my window, not throughout. Um, it's been really awesome, and I am so glad that I did it. I was kind of hesitant. I was kind of nervous. It just kind of came up really fast as an idea, and we were just like, okay, let's do it. And so, I don't know. I didn't have much time to think about it, but highly, highly recommend. I had a great experience. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them uh, down below. I hope this video is helpful. Um, um, I haven't been brave enough to put on mascara yet. Not necessarily brave enough. I just wanted to be extremely cautious with my eyes. So it's barely been a month. Well, it'll be a month in, well, tomorrow it'll be a month. So they say to not cause any uh, trauma or rubbing to your eyes for a month. And so I just really took that to, you know, the highest extent, I wanted to be cautious. I haven't put mascara on because I know if I put it on, I'll have to rub my eyes to get it off. So, just for now, I'm not wearing mascara. I think it's fine. I look okay, I think. Uh, um, yeah, I haven't been brave enough, but eventually I will. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.